afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. Now, if you love good pitching, this one's for you. First pitch is coming up. Blake Snell is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Tampa Bay. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy has a four pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft, you can go in and out, and anytime you have four pitches, if you could throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew, and we are ready for some Leading daytime off the baseball. For the, Yankees, the second baseman, DJ. He's ready. Here's LeMayhew. the first offering. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Kiermeyer giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Batting second, the left fielder, Miguel and Duhar. Here's Miguel and Duhar now. Previous history with Blake Snell, not great. He's one for eight. And the pitch. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98, 0 and 1. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the, the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Ready with the 1 0. 2 0. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3 0. Swing and a liner. Foul. Now the 2 1 it is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. We're seeing a good AB here from the three hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Boy, oh boy. That's a tough one for the pitcher. He's definitely wondering where the heck was that pitch? I think he called it high, but our strike zone says otherwise. Settling in now, Aaron Judge, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the belt, the pitch. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, d -Row, Mike Fillmore, one of the most consistent umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this guy. Yeah, I think one of the best in the business. How I judge a good teammate is every day he opens that door. Is he consistent? Can I count on him? Mike Fillmore is the exact same way behind the dish. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. And Duhar over at second. Torres at first, one gone. Two balls and a strike. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. Inside ball three. Three and one. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? 
Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. On oh, a good pitch there as he had him fooled badly, and it's a full count now. Three and two. First and second now, one man out. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game, or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone, or if he continues to struggle. Giancarlo Stanton now. Certainly a big moment in this game. Bases loaded, tie score. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Stanton is a prolific power hitter and you probably didn't need me to tell you that doesn't matter what kind of pitching he faces there's a lot of pop in that bat two balls and no strikes the count to Stanton there's certain pitches throughout the game that decide whether you win or lose it this is certainly one of the bigger moments right here. Good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. The 2-1 home is taken. Ball three. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. And the count will be full. Again, he sends it out of play. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. As he'll take a look at ball one. And a golden opportunity here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. Ready with the 1 0. Uh, had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's 1 and 1 now. Even at 1 and 1, the pitch drilled right back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit, and not in time as the run scores. The tag, and they get him at the plate as one run scores, but not the second. A run on two hits for the Yankees. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Yankees are out in front, one to nothing. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, this guy has a good repertoire of pitches, and he throws also a knuckle curveball. One guy comes to mind, Mike Mussina, former Oriole and Yankee pitcher, had a real good knuckle curve. It's not an easy pitch to learn, and what's more difficult, it's a difficult pitch for umpires to call strikes, and that's why we don't see a lot of pitchers using it today. Stepping into the box, Brandon Lowe. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. Two and one to the Rays leadoff batter. Now the two one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Yeah. 
swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer and that's out number one. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses that with that exactly. pitch unless it's don't really moving. Hurt. So that one okay. must have had some real good late Meadow. life. Stepping in now, Austin Meadows. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Nope. Meadows swings the bat and throws from the left side and stands in at six foot three. He was a first round pick back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Judge is under this one. And that's out number two. Batting third, the third baseman, Yandy Diaz. At the plate, Yandy Diaz looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Cole has his target. Here's the pitch. Hey. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Look out. 1 and 1. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. He got ahead with two good fastballs and then tried to drop the change up to see if he'd be out in front. Did a great job of laying off that pitch right there. Interested to see where he goes now. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Fouled away. Another full count offering on its way. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Now in the box, Gary Sanchez. They'll get us started in the top of the second. Gary Sanchez. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. Now here's the pitch. In the dirt, it's 3 0 now. Yeah, three straight balls to start the inning, and it's clear to me he just hasn't found his rhythm out there yet. The 3 0 pitch. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Now with the plate, Luke Voigt. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He's set. Here it comes. Fastball swung on and missed. Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish himself back into the strike zone. 
Would have liked to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive in that situation. Usually when a pitcher throws four balls in a row, that next pitch you can get super greedy right down the middle. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Nope, that's the ball. I got to count one and two. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Fouled off. Nobody out, runner on first. Ball three. Three and two now. Mike Talkman will be next. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Some guys with big arms like this, they're just chuckers. They just throw the ball as hard as they can, and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern, but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well-pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. Into the box, Mike Talkman, as he will look at a first-pitch fastball for ball one. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. The 1 0 is laid off for ball two. Strike taken up in the zone. The 2 1. Hit down the line at first. Reined in. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Yankees 1, the Rays nothing. Leading off the inning, G Man Choi. And they'll need him to get the something going thing. here. G-Man Joy. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. The 1-0. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Judge looks up. Gone! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And with it, the Rays have drawn even at one apiece. When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence of the guys in your lineup. Batting fifth. And the plate the now, right Hunter Renfro. Hunter! And he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Cole. It's a guy who throws a lot of strikes, rarely walks people, but what does bite him occasionally is the home run ball. Matt, this is a guy that's not a power type of pitcher, so he needs to rely on being down in the strike zone. One of the keys, he tends to lose being aggressive when he falls behind, and he kind of nibbles around the strike zone. And what happens with that, Matty V, he becomes very predictable and when you don't have overpowering stuff, you tend to be able to get One hit ball, hard. Strikes, A ball yeah. and two strikes now. Here's the one and two delivery. 
And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun that to watch hit. him go about his that business. Designated hitter. Uh, no doubt, okay. man. He's one of my favorites, mostly Mark because of his day. stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. So now to the plate, Jose Martinez. And it's fouled away. One ball and one strike to their designated hitter this afternoon. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. Liner towards second. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Boy, it's so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on that the inside that. half of the plate right That's there. Try to bust him in, b really? and he fights it off the other way. It. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Coming to the plate now, Willie Adamas. First offering on its way. Nope. And he ball takes one. ball one. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1 1 tie. Ball and two strikes to the Rays shortstop. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. The one-two misses for the second ball. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. And this is lifted out towards straightaway center field. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Man, that's a nice job by the batter right there, keeping the front Batting side it. in. Not easy on a curveball. Would have been easy Batman. to throw to front side and Beer hook that Meyer. foul, but he was able to stay inside and drive it for a base hit. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. One strike now from Cole. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermeyer now. Hey, that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. The one two is a ball high and inside. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off speed pitches early, followed by back to back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. A full count to the Rays center fielder. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Runners are at first and second with one away.
And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting coach, you say, that's a great A-B. Down 0-2 and you work the walk. But if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook. And that can really frustrate you. Standing in now with runners in scoring position, Mike Sanino. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. 1 and 1. One ball, one strike. One and two count to the Rays catcher. Bases are loaded with only one out. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Wow, that's the case right there where the pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone and he still swung at it. Standing in now, Brandon Lowe. As he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Swing and he pops him up. But this will land untouched. Here's the 0-2. Base hit into right center. One run scores. And the run is in to score from second. It's now 3-1. You know, D-Row, hitting in the leadoff spot, you're not going to get very many opportunities to drive in some runs, but that's a big two-RBI hit. Right yeah, when you see ducks on the pond, Dan, your eyes light up. I don't care if you're hitting first in the lineup or eighth in the lineup. You grind out in that bat and try and get the runs on the board for your team. Yeah, but that's a big two RBI base hit. Now with the plate, Austin Meadows. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning. Matt, a hit here could really fire up that dugout. First pitch coming. Here it is. Cole sets. Here's the 0 1. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. This inning hasn't gone the way he wanted it to, but it's not a total disaster yet. Sometimes pitching is about damage control, so if he can strand these guys out there, that would be pretty huge. A 1 1. Aye. I know he's been struggling early, but that pitch right there, well executed changeup. If he can mix that in, maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. Lays off two and two now. From the stretch. And look out as that one ran in and got him. As a manager, you never really want to put a man on by a hit by pitch, but you absolutely hate to have it happen when it loads the bases. Now the pitcher is looking a little shaky, and the threat of a big inning is very real. Now batting, Yandy Diaz. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the stretch. Nope. Okay. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Here's the 1-0. Swing and a miss, 1-1. One one. 
Boy, he set her cut that fastball. It comes in in the high 90s, but that's a dangerous location, no matter how hard you're throwing. The set and the 1-1. One, one. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. A 1-2 pitch. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So all in all, they're fortunate to give up just three in the inning as they wind up escaping the bases loaded jam. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Rays three and the Yankees one. And that sends DJ LeMahieu into the box. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Here comes the first pitch. The windup and the 0 1. 0 1. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. This is a perfect example of why the slider is such a great pitch and such a dangerous pitch, too. Sometimes it moves so much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. One. Count one and oh. Third inning here. Three to one our score. Two and oh to the Yankees oh, left fielder. Three and oh now. This would be an absolute terrible start to the inning. After drilling the first guy, you can't allow the second guy to reach base via the walk. Now the 3 and 0 offering. 3 and 1 to him now. A runner at first with no outs here. Lifted in the air out to right. Renfro will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now batting. Shortstop. Labor. Torres. Ready for another chance? Torres. He drew a walk his first time up. From the belt, kicks and deals. <laughs> Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Runners on first with one down. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. The one two is taken for ball two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. 
Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2, and, and that last pitch on 2-2 two two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Line toward the gap in left center. And this is going to find the seam as it scoots through on the carpet for extra bases. The relay. And he's going to make it there. Barely as he's into second base with a double. This guy just feasts on mistakes up in the zone. And, and that's exactly what he gets right here. A belt high pitch. He drives into the alley. Great chance now with two runners in scoring position. That'll bring up Aaron Judge. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. That's wide, 2-0. Oh. Tough situation for him right here. I mean, he's got an open base, so he doesn't have to give in to this guy. But there's definitely danger looming on deck, so you can't just completely work around him either. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. A simple ground ball to the infield, but the run does come home from third, and they cut their deficit to only one run. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And a high strike to begin the at bat, it's 0 1. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you'd normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Men on third with two down. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Drilled to the left side. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. And to score from third is the tying run. It's a 3-3 game. The third base. Boy, there are big RBIs yeah. and big base hits, Dero, but none more than with two outs. A big two-out knock right there. Not only ties things up, but keeps the inning going as well. Yeah, just a great approach right there by the batter. You never know when your number's going to be called. You always wanted to pass the baton to the next guy behind you. Take the donut off your bat and trust in the teammate behind you. That is a huge knock and keeps the line moving. One for one after a single his first time up. The 0 1. And that misses 1 and 1. Has a look. Now the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we are all tied at three apiece. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. All right, Heidi, thank you. And leading off Bottom of the, the inning now, G-Man Choi, the, the next to hit. And he's off to a hot start Choi. in this one. Homered his first time around. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Ball one to start the at bat. Now a 
fastball for a called strike. One it's one. one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now the pitch. Nope. Ball two. Tough to lay off a breaking ball that good, but he saw it all the way. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Now batting right fielder. So one away Hunter. here with the base is empty uh, and Renfro. that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hey. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back to back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back now pocket back. right now. Got him swinging hitter. on the fastball Hunter. there. Hunter Renfro becomes Mark the second Hinder. out in the bottom of the third. Into the box now, Jose Martinez. Yes, he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. The three one. Popped up. Urshela has a play. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Down in order go the Rays. We played three, and our score, 3-3. Three, three. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready now, Gary Sanchez. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Now here's the pitch. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. The 1-1 one, one home is strike two swinging. One ball, two strikes, count. To two, two balls two, and two strikes now. Set to deal on two and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Up next for the Yankees, 
So stepping in, Luke Voigt looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. No balls on a strike to count. And he pulled up in time, but it's a called strike two. Voigt swings a bat and throws from the right side and stands at six foot three. He was taken in the 22nd round back in the draft of 2013. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there now are two away. The center fielder, Mike Talkman. At the plate, Mike Talkman. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Aye. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every oh, pitcher's been God. there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Hits are now even at four apiece. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And that's a base hit, one for two in his first couple of plate appearances. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Well, he was definitely not looking off speed on that pitch. I'll tell you, he had to be sitting on a fastball on that one because it's coming in hot, and he still manages to get out front of that and yank it for two bases. Into the box, DJ LeMayhew. Now a oh swing, Owen. Oh, look out over in the third base dugout as that thing nearly took out half the coaching staff. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. Mark, Dan, and I are back with more after this. Digging in now, Willie Adamas. He Leading reached on a single in his first try. The shortstop, Willie Adamas. Now here's the pitch. Ball. Bottom three in the batting order here is the first pitch misses to the number seven hitter. It's ball one. Two and oh. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Now batting the center fielder. Kevin Kiermaier. One out here in the Tampa Bay fourth, and that means Kevin Kiermaier will hit next. Here comes the first pitch. 1 0. The 1 0 delivery. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Yeah. Two and one now. 
One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Oh, He's fallen behind now, three and one. On deck, the big bat of Mike Zanino. Three runs, four hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Now the three and two pitch. Hot shot on the ground is short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. I'm not sure if this happened or not, but sometimes when you're playing behind a pitcher who's doing all of the work himself, you get caught up a little bit in kind of a trance, and you get lulled to sleep out there. Looked like, to me, he was caught a little off guard when the play came his way. Runner at first following the error, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Mike Zanino. Throw over to first, and the runner back safely. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Off the plate, ball one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. The 1-0. And they pitch Go out on. here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Fouls this one off. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we Number see a lot eight. of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. And he gets ahead 0-1-1. Runner on first, two away, all tied at three apiece. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Cole sets. Here's the nothing and two. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. One left for Tampa. Four innings in the books, tied 3-3. Ready for another shot now. Miguel Andujar, a hit in two at-bats for him at this point Miguel. in the ballgame. And Duhar. First offering on its way. Hey. The windup and the 0-1. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Grounded back up the middle. And the Got fifth him. inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batter, the shortstop, Labor Torres. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Labor Torres. Now here's the pitch. Inside, ball one.
Two balls, no strikes. Too high, and it's three and oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. Here's the 3 1. Liner into right center. That's a base hit. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump, but this guy was the too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. Good. That gives him a multi hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Now here comes the Tampa Bay manager out to the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart in the fifth with the go ahead run on base. Didn't work the required five for the win, but he could still be hung for the loss should that run come around to score. Jalen Beeks enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the Number inning. Jalen Beeks. Aaron Judge will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now an off speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. All rise, Aaron Judge, a two run shot. And it's now five to three. Oh man he got hurt his second pitch since coming in and he serves one up a reliever's worst nightmare and a big confidence boost to the lineup let's see if he can rebound now back and digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one a hit in two tries for him so far. And that's inside and a bit low anyways. It's 2-0. and oh. Action in the Rays pen now as they've got a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. The 2-0. -oh. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And right into the shift. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Five runs, seven hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. Line toward the gap in left center. And Stanton's aboard. It's a base hit. Boy, there's a long drive bullet How off the it? wall right there. But the outfielder does a really Yo. good job, d -Row, of getting that one quickly and getting it back in to keep him at first for a long single. Yeah, and also a nice job by the base runner not there. Not putting his head down, being over aggressive and getting thrown out at second base. He saw the play happening in front of him and put the brakes on and got back for a base hit. Yeah, D-Roll, I think he would have been toast if he tried to stretch that one into a double. One for two in the ball game thus far. Hey. Cold strike on the outside part of the plate, 0-2. Oh, 
Hey, as a hitter right here, you can't be leaning out over. I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half, but nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right here. Still only one out in the inning. Ball. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Grounder down the line at third. Scooped up. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Don't touch that dial or the remote for that matter. More on the show right after this. Digging in, Austin Meadows. He's 0 for and 1 thus far. For the Things not looking very the good so field. far in this one, but we're still Austin. in the middle innings. They're down by a Meadows. couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time Count to get out. something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Now here it comes. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. The one one. Waves and misses for strike one number two. Two strikes. That's lifted the other way out to left. And Duhar is there, and he'll bring this one in. Third baseman number two, Yandi Diaz. And that will bring in Yandi Diaz. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. One out. The one zero. -oh. Hey. One one pitch is a slider that's now, cut on and missed for two. strike two. Yeah, Matty, you see the same pitch three times in a row, and you find yourself down one and two in the count. Your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it four times, or do I have to sit on something else? And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's three and two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. The payoff pitch one more time. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. That's ten strikeouts for him now. Up and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite the a few more before man. he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one.
Stepping in now, G-Man Choi. On, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. So it's a solo shot to dead center, his second of the game. As they pull within one here, it's now a 5-4 game. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. To the plate now, now Hunter Renfro. Right fielder, Hunter. Yes, he'll take a look at ball Renfro. one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1 0 home he is swung on and missed, strike ball, one. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. He's got it. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh my goodness. The three of us are back after this message and a word from our local stations. New inning set to get underway. Digging in once again, Gary Sanchez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat. Ooh, started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. I can't speak from experience, but that's got to feel good right there. Throwing a nasty change up first pitch and getting a swing and a miss on it. Now he pretty much opened up any pitch in his arsenal. Ground ball foul down the left side. One and two to the Yankees catcher. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And now pitch on the way. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. Now batter. Digging in. Luke Voigt. Over two for him to this point. Now here's the pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Outside, that's the ball. Inside, ball. Couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. The 2 1 is well placed down and away for a strike. And he lays off, so it's full now, 3 and 2. Mike Talkman waits on deck. One out, nobody on. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Now batting. Stepping in, Mike Talkman. He's one Mike for two in this one. Talkman. First pitch on its way. Ball, that's out. The 1 0. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball.
from the windup, the 1 1 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. They lead it 5 to 4. Your Jonathan Holder lead. enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Game. Number 56, Jonathan Holder. Bottom of the sixth inning now at the plate, Jose Martinez. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Martinez. First pitch coming. Here it is. Nope. That's the ball. The 1 0. Ball two. 2 0. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. Running hard. He's digging for second. And the Rays strike quickly here in the inning. It's a leadoff double. And this is okay. just a cut Number fastball. One. He's trying to sneak Good in job. the back door. Really? He's unable to get I'm it done. It. Leaves it right over the heart of the plate. And that's just too easy for a guy like this. He's licking his chops as the ball arrives. And he drills it to the outfield for an extra base hit. So striding in, Willie Adamas. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch to him. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Looking for a productive at bat here. Get that runner from second over to third. The 1 0. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. The catch is made, and the tying run is going to tag from second. And he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gun. Now batting, center fielder, Kevin. Stepping up now, Kevin Kiermaier comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Has a look, now the pitch. Ball. That's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it, but hey. That's the life of an umpire. A man at third with one away. That evens it up one and one. Kiermaier playing here in his age 29 season. He's a veteran of seven years at the major league level. A one one. Hit to first, reined in, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting, the catcher, Mike Zunino. So here's Mike Zunino, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. One and one. Here it is. Fouled away. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. 
two outs here with a runner at third. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Ray's strand just the one. Still down a run. It's five to four. So the lineup flips over and digging in. DJ LeMayhew, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. And the pitch. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. And he falls behind now, 2 0. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning, it's so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning. So that was a big out. In now, Miguel Andujar. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's working on a 1-for-3 thus far. The 1-0 home. Fastball well outside. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. So now to the plate, Torres fouled off. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Oh and one here it comes. Donnie extends nicely and this ball is driven to right field and deep. But he'll get there as he flags it down just shy of the Ladies wall. And, and with that, the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They hold on to a 5-4 lead. Zach Britton gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Zach Britton. At the plate, Brandon Lowe. And He'll start things out way. here in the bottom of inning number Second seven. Baseman. This thing's far number from eight. over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away one from tying this thing up. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Tough one to call there, but it's ruled just above the zone. Yeah. 
swing and a miss at a ball tailing out of the zone two and two. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. And it's fouled away. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. The next three, two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. Standing in now, Austin Meadows. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No hits to this point. Comes set and the 0 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Now here's the pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. One out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Here's another 2-2. Smoke toward the hole. Lemayhew's got it. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Now batting, third baseman, Yandy Diaz. Digging in to try it again. Yandy Diaz. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. The 1 0 delivery. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Rays go in order one two three and the deficit holds at five to four. Ladies Oliver gentlemen. Drake has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so now to start the eighth. Ray. Number 47 Oliver Drake. Ready to take his hacks again. Aaron Judge as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall the last time up. 99. Aaron Judge. 
Here comes the first pitch. Aye. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Ball, that's off the plate. Swung on and missed. One and two now. One and two. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee high. Nasty diving out of the zone. Here's a fly ball well hit. Racing back the right fielder. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batting, designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Next for New York, Giancarlo Stanton. Last time through was a base hit. First offering on its way. A great job pounding the zone strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. The 0 and 1 delivery. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. And action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right hander's begun to get loose. Bases are empty, one man out. Nope. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. I got the count, one and two. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. This is foul right side. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Into center field, line drive base hit. Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll now take three for four every day of the week. Pass. Yeah, in today's Yo. day and age, Dan, where Earth everything's Jedi. a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Go, go, At the plate go. now, Gio Urshela fouled off. One out, one on, in a one-run game. A There's ball. a fastball pretty close that time, one but one. ruled a ball, one and one. From the stretch. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Steel, steel, on the steel. move again from first. He swings and misses. Throw down. Short hop, but they got him. Great pick and tag to catch him trying to steal. Well, they've got a small lead, and they're pushing to add to it by being aggressive on the base pass. But as a manager, you just hope you're not giving up outs that you wish you could have had back. And he popped him up, drifting back behind first. Choi gathers it in, and that retires the side. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Yankees lead this one 4-1. 
five to four. Your Chad Green please. is on to pitch out now of the bullpen in the bottom New half of the eighth. Number 57, Chad Green. Bottom of inning number eight set and to go. Digging in, G-Man Choi. The Two home baseman. runs already to his name in this one, and Choi. we'll see if he could possibly strike again. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. It's last at bat his second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And it's fouled away. One on its way. Just got the corner that time with a fastball strike two. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Weighing inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. The one two misses oh, above the zone for a ball. Two balls, two strikes. The two two. Runs a bit inside for a ball. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at-back to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Guide into straightaway right. Judges under it. One away. Now batter, the right fielder, Hunter Renfro. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Hunter Renfro, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat. Right hander against right hander as this is a ball 1 0. Now here it comes. 2 0. One out, nobody on. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. High in the air out to center field. Tuckman is in his tracks now, and he's got it for out number two. Now batting, the designated hitter, Jose Martinez. To the plate now for the Rays is the DH, Jose Martinez. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Two out, nobody on. Now 
behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. The count is one and two. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. I'm trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position no with a two-out double. Ball. He was Stop. able to spit on that first really? slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. And now with the possible time run at second here, we're going to have a pinched runner as they try to get a little more speed out there. So a runner at second, two down now, and up next will be Willie Adamas. Here's the first pitch to him. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Judges under it. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. One hit, one left. We've played eight full. It's the Yankees five, the Rays four. Chaz Rowe enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Chaz Rowe. Ready once again, Gary Sanchez. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Gary Sanchez. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. One oh count here it is ball inside Rowe was known as a short relief specialist a guy who came in got one or two big outs but with the new pace of play rules they're forcing a change for this right hander now the 2 0 home a swing and a miss strike one Rowe, 33 years old it was selected in the first round back in 2005. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Now a fastball inside and he works it back to a full count now. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. Now the three and two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Now digging in now for the Yankees. Luke Voigt. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. He's set and the pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Ball 
down the left field line and deep. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a breaking ball, but it's low. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Wow, he's just a lost cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone, and that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. At the plate, Mike Talkman. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Now the pitch. And a two-one slider is looked at for a called strike two. The two-two. He swung on and missed strike three. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on the show right after this. Your attention, please. Now so with a safe situation on tap, they'll Number hand the ball over to a formidable force indeed. The very hard-throwing left-hander, Aroldis Chapman. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kevin From Kiermaier. Kevin he was a ground down victim last time up. Here, yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's oh, part of what makes him successful. No balls in one strike. Lays oh, yeah. off the slider, and it's one and one. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good up wheels off Tampa base, Bay. and that's just the what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base no, path. He goes. Here now is Mike Zanino. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way the this one's going to end up as Number a manager. Eight. 
two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer, there's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Brandon Lowe, he comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here's the first pitch to him. Lays off 1 and 0. Fans on their feet in a one run ball game in the last of the ninth. A little late that time as he swings and misses for strike one. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. One and two now. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Man, facing Chapman is not for the faint of heart as he unleashes fireball after fireball. Gets the final out here and another save. What a weapon Chapman is. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four the final score. The New York Yankees used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Garrett Cole gets the W on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.